The, the Global Advance Fund is just uh, a fund that the Alliance has that supports all of our overseas missionaries. And uh, when you think about it, that's really overwhelming. I mean, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of need. And anytime we talked to the missionaries, they had passionate and wonderful ideas about specific areas where they could and would like to be serving, uh, just that funds were holding them back. And they were talking about some friends who had to pull out of the missions field because of lack of funding in uh, also other denominations as well. And so that really just kind of sparked uh, sparks an interest in me and just kind of really recognize the need for uh, not just necessarily an outpouring of support but just a steady base of support that was uh, needed. I mean it's an, it was right when the economy is sort of faltering and we were all beginning to actually feel the effects of having less money in our pockets but that is amplified when several people around the world Stop, start giving less to the Global Advance Fund or stop giving to the Global Advance Fund altogether, that significantly decreases the you know, ability they have to survive in a foreign country and, and do their ministry that's much needed. So that was probably my biggest uh, takeaway from the trip was just uh, how do we as a local church maintain our promise to support our missionaries that are out in the field. And part of the issue for me that it was the first hurdle is we don't really know them all. Uh, especially for myself, I'm part of First Alliance Church, so we have a large church body. And it's, uh, it's difficult to, you know, you don't know everybody in the hallway even when you're there, but then we have tons of people that we support overseas, so it's just sort of an overwhelming thing to, to do that. But an encouraging thing that I came out of the trip with that was really exciting is just to experience firsthand people in the church supporting me in short-term missions and supporting the rest of the team and how all that funding came together. It was, it was a phenomenal experience to see God work through uh, people I know and love, so it was very rewarding.